Hey guys, coming at you with another video. Uh, David Beeson just threw out a challenge for Matchbox. Oh God, Matchbox. I have a lot of Matchbox cards. Just don't know which ones to show. But as you guys know, I, I love Matchbox. I love the great detail that they put into some of their cards. Not all of them, but there are some that are really nice. So guys, we have to find a spot to start. Because right now, I got about maybe over 100 cards I can pick out for Matchbox. But I'm trying to narrow it down to as less as possible. So let's start with some of these guys. Let's start with some of the service vehicles. Okay, let's turn on the wheel here, guys, and get it going. How about this fire truck? I think this is pretty cool. It's like I like Matchbox service vehicles and stuff like that. They, they're pretty awesome. I mean, especially for their 50th anniversary set. All the, the fire truck is gold. I thought that was pretty awesome. Then we have the Dodge Coronet. I love these old school cars. I try to collect many as possible. As most of you guys know, for me, if it's funky enough, I'll probably add it to the collection. I love the odd cars. So up next, guys, we got the Hudson Hornet. I like to get the one from Match from, from Hot Wheels. Eventually, I'll find it. It's not like it's a, a rush thing to do. But I will find it. Once everything's settled down, they start replenishing the stores. Okay, so we have this Ford Police Intercept. like the colors on this. See, again, it would be nice if it had some rear details on it. Nice casting. And maybe if the lights were maybe not just well, clear, had some color to it. So the next one, guys, is another police vehicle. And this is, I think it's the Beamer M5. Well, this is fire, I'm sorry, guys. So I have one more or two more service vehicles. So this is the Ford Mustang. 
sheriff car. This is from the five pack. Next one guys is the Ford Explorer. So now guys, this is the fun part of everything. What do I show next? Cause I just recently did the hatchback and fastback challenge. And so I never got a chance to put most of these away. So let's see what we can come up with. As you guys can hear, I am opening up my case. Okay, so the next one, guys, is going to be the 1935 Ford. to put everything away as we go guys okay coming up with the 70s El Camino. So the next one guys is going to be the Dodge Charger. I'm not sure where I found this one at. Maybe Big Lots or something like that. I think along with this next one too. And this is the 2016 Chrysler 300. And this car guys is another one that I would like to have as a real car. <laughs> I always like these cars. And so my son wound up buying one. I got a chance to at least get it in and drive it. It was a highlight for me. Okay, guys, we got the Plymouth Cuda.
And this one is it's not one of my favorite, but it's just okay. This is the Mercedes Benz. I could have used this one for the hatchback challenge. And next, guys, we have the Chevy, Com Chevy Camaro convertible. I'm going to use this guy in the convertible challenge. So many cars. But then again, guys, all have been matchbox. Try not to burn everybody out with the matchbox. But I do have quite a few. So we're gonna come at you with the fourth T-Bird. And it's nice. So this one was in the convertible challenge. I think they did a good job with this one. So the next one, guys, is going to be the Ford Fairmont Wagon. So up next, guys, is the Chevy Capri. So guys, here's another Camaro in silver. Guys, to be honest, I have lost count how many cars I have shown. So the next one guys is this GMC Scenic Cruiser. This just reminds me 
of growing up. And we used to catch the Greyhound bus to go from place to place. So this can always be one of the favorites in my collection. It's just part of my childhood. Traveling on the bus with my grandmother. Until I got to the point where we, she wouldn't travel with me anymore. But yeah, I had good times with her. So this one always going to be in my memory. This bus, it just reminds me of that. Okay guys, the 33 Ford Coupe, 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 Coupe. And this one, I remember I got this one, and Mike Dyson was telling me this was from the the 2020 case. And I just picked it up at the flea market for a buck, you know. I thought it was cool. Again, <laughs> just me. <laughs> I just love these old cars. I love these old hot rods and all that good stuff. Okay guys, now we're coming up with the, another service vehicle. So we're gonna, or well, rescue or whatever. So this is 33 Plymouth, I guess PC stands for police car sedan. I'm not sure if anybody know, leave it in the comments. I think for the first time I'm pretty much in my elements with these cars. So up next, guys, is the Porsche Panamera. All right, guys, next up is the 47 Chevy. This is a cool car, truck. I know it's just something about Matchbox cars. They, 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 they get it. They, Hot Wheels get it too, but in the premium version. Matchbox get it in their main lines. Pretty good details. I think that's why I like collecting them.
So next guy, I just showed this one in my hatchback. And it's the 95 Subaru SVX. I think I'm going past my time limit here, guys. I try to make these videos as short as possible without boring everybody. So here's another one that's just recently shown. And this is the Mazda CX-5. RS6 Next, guys, is the Austin Healy Roadster. So, guys, bear with me. be ending this video really soon. <laughs> My wife in the background telling me I'm about 20 cars late, I'll be ending it. <laughs> it's just that once you get rolling, it's kind of hard to stop. So guys, the next one is uh, Mercedes AMG GT. I went through this many cars, guys. That wasn't the plan. So next, guys, is the Ford Ranchero.
Next up, guys, is the 62 Nissan Junior. So the next one up guys is the 57 GMC sidestep. I'm killing my wife here guys. <laughs> <laughs> she keeping count on my cars. <laughs> so the next one, guys, is the. This is from the 50th anniversary, and this is the Volkswagen. Can see many bus. And this one came from my good friend Tim Burnett. It was like my first, I guess, I guess it would be classed as a premium, super fast from Matchbox. And up next, guys, is my Dodge Challenger. And also super fast. Wow. I didn't mean to go this long. So guys, I'm going to end it with this, <laughs> this one here. I thought this was funny, but from what I understand, this is a real, it was a real car, and that is the big banana. So that will be my challenge, if you guys stuck around long enough to watch it. <laughs> So I want to thank David for putting out this challenge. It kind of like fit right up my niche pretty much with Matchbox. So I hope everyone get a chance to do this challenge. I think it's a great challenge. As you know, guys, it seems like every weekend we have some type of challenge going on. And this weekend is no different. So hopefully everybody had a good fort. And everybody do this challenge. And as always, guys, check in the comments. Check out some of my friends. You know, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that like button. You know, if you, if you join my channel, please turn on that notification so that you can know that I am putting up more videos. 
Hopefully they won't be as long as this one, but I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you, David, for putting this challenge out there. And again, I hope everyone does the challenge. Have some fun. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, deuces. Keep hunting. Keep doing challenges. Keep making videos. I'm out of here. Later, guys. Bye now.